Hi. 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 I am Tech. This is Tina. This Rebecca. is Rebecca. And we're going to make chewing gum, bubble gum, this kit. She got it as a gift. And we're going to see if this is something that you actually should get for your five-year-old science kid. So what we have in this kit that she's showing you is two flavors. There's that one, which is cherry and grape. And then we have corn syrup. We have gum base. And then we have powdered sugar for kneading. All right. And so, we also have this little box. Yes, we have a container. We don't need that. No, we do need that because <laughs> we are going to use that to melt the gum base. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do in this kit is soften the corn syrup. So I have a bowl. And so what you're going to do is you're going to soften the corn syrup in this package. You're going to so put the corn syrup. This is going to be great. Put the corn syrup in the bowl. How do I do it? No, just leave it the whole thing in there. Put the whole package in Yeah, there. so I'm going to pour hot water on that to soften it. So I'm not going to let you do that. I'm going to do that. Hey, guys. What? Be careful. You're going to fall <laughs> off. Okay, so we have the corn syrup and hot water over here softening because I don't want it, you know, I don't want it to burn her. Okay, don't so now... our channel is Unicorn. Yes, so you will you can watch this on her channel, which is going to be Unicorn, <laughs> Unicorn Rainbow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, hey, so we're going to... If you're Catherine, like my friend Catherine, that's nice. You're going to love this. So we're going to have this on her channel, which is Unicorn Rainbow. That's it. And we'll also have it on our channel, which Funny. is... Funny! We'll put it in the description box because, you know. All right, so we're going to go ahead and melt the gum base. So what you're going to do is you're going to open this. It's like a Ziploc, so just open it up Carefully. and pour it in there. Carefully. Just pour the whole thing in. Carefully. Uh -huh. Guys, I'm going to show you this. This is All right. Here you go. Guys, if you're free or Just two, open now, so be careful. If you're, if you guys are, you can only do this if you're four, like five, and, and two adults. That's right. Or one. Two adults is or always one. good, especially if or it's one. us. Yeah, I need yeah. adults over there. Okay, so you can do this over the stove, or you can do it in the microwave. We're going to choose to do it in the microwave. And here's the thing. This is going to get, like, super, super sticky, so you don't want to do it in your own dish. So make sure you hang on to this little puppy or have something else that is microwave safe and disposable. We're going to do this in increments of, like, maybe 30 seconds to a minute just to kind of see how it's going. And what I'm going to stir it with once it gets to its melted consistency is something disposable. So I'm going to use a disposable fork or disposable spoon. Um, there's a guy that does this where they're show, he's showing you exactly what he's doing, but all food. You don't see anything but him. I just want you to see if you should do this with a five-year-old. So he uses a chopstick, and I'll put the link in that as well as um, if How you want. How do you want, put link? You just add it. So do we have the thumbs up in the phone? How do, how do we see how many likes we get? <laughs> we will look as time goes on. Okay, yeah. so while this is... While this is melting, we're going to prepare our work surface, which we're going to open up this bag of corn. That's why I flattened it out. We're going to open up this bag of confectioner sugar, and we're going to pour about a fourth to a half onto the work surface. Okay, back And you have to be careful. Hold on, a fourth of it? Yeah, a fourth to Just a half. Just sprinkle it? Yeah. Well, you know, you're going to make a mound like flour yeah. because you're, we're going to pour it in there. And then mix the whole it, thing. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that should be good. So now what she's going to do is she's going to make a little tiny well into the center because after that melts, we're going to pour that in there. Kind of? I can do it. Yeah, I, I make, have a, a, little make a little hole in the middle. Good job. Just like that. Good okay. job. It's like a... And it's good that the finger. kids, like, probably wash their hands first. But, I mean, come on, they're five. And there's no tall ones there eating okay so while this is melting and she's continuing to make a mighty well into the sugar if you like doing this and it works out or you're just somebody that just wants to make some gum i will link the kit website it looks like melted, it looks like melted stuff i will link the kit where i got the kit for her and the website where you could buy it and to the description box and also they sell the gum base like by the pounds so you actually just buy the gum base and there's another guy who makes it without the kit but uses the gum base and i'll link that if you just want to make gum so the one thing that i thought was really cool about this one 
she loves gum. Like, loves gum like Violet Bolderguard. Like, loves gum. And, you know, from Willy Wonka. Just tell me some kids are watching this. Maybe they don't know what Byron. Violet Bolderguard. That's okay. The adults do. Okay, the cool thing about it, so she loves gum, so I thought this would be perfect. She loves science. I thought this would be perfect. This would be something that she really liked to do. In here, it also tells you how it is because, you know, they're getting this gum from the rainforest. It shows how it's harvested, how they don't, you know, hurt the trees and they replant things. And it gives the whole history on the history of gum and how they source it and all that, which is kind of cool. It's educational. <laughs> of course, she hasn't really cared to listen to this story yet, but she will. Eventually, because she's going to be forced. Get it when she's tired. Yeah, it'd be a great bedtime story. Maybe you can be like really animated (laughs) or something. But I just think it's cool. It's, you know, earth friendly. And you should know where your gum's coming from. You're putting the ingredients in it, so it's kind of cool, you know? All right, so let's check it. All right, see, this is starting to get melted. So we're going to let it go back in there and get melted. Do you see that? I'm, this is optional. I did watch the guy that did the kit and before we attempted it, just so I know what I was getting into. And he didn't use a bench scraper, but it will okay. seem like it's going to help. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is that as a five-year-old, they have the attention span of, what, a goldfish? Is that a two-year-old? The attention spans are short. <laughs> That's why we're showing you if this is something you should actually do with a five-year-old. Or a ten. Well, old ten. But you're not ten. Yes. Or nine. Because on the kid, it says it's eight good plus. for ages eight and older. Now, of course. This is probably why. Yeah, and <laughs> but you know how you are with your kids. You know your kids are more advanced than the box says on non-electrical items. So she's, you know, and of course you wouldn't do it without, you know, doing it with your child. And so, but for a child that's really supervision. In, yes. And for a child that's really big into science and loves just anything mind and wanting to learn and get their hands on, I just thought it'd be great to support something that she really enjoys doing. You never know. And she might hate it, but I think she'll like it. See? It's starting to get a little bit more melted. It's not very like a bit more melted. Guys. Now, see. I don't know if you guys noticed she's out of her character, but, <laughs> you know, we want to keep it family friendly. Oh. Woo! That was almost a nose. <laughs> what? Oh, don't put your hand under it. Are you crazy? In my Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh-huh. What happened? Oh my god. What what is that? It's gum. Keep the water on. So we're going to add the corn syrup. <laughs> Can we not do any recipe? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, she gave me a towel. Yeah, she's taking care of you. Are you taking care of me? It's a it's Did she wet it for you. It's cold. Thank you. I love it's you. Cold. Oh, that feels so much better. Thank you. Yeah, and so you're going to incorporate the corn I, syrup really, really well. Can I mix it up? No, don't touch it. It's hot. You can do the powder when we get to that part. I, mm. Oh, my God. I hate you did that. <laughs> I said I did that. I know. I'm like, don't put, I see you doing it. And I couldn't stop it. I'm like, don't put your hand under it. I knew it was going to happen. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't. Well, guys, rather the floor than your hand. Guys, wear gloves, okay? It would have gone right through the glove. No, I could have just whipped the glove off. Okay, what do I do after this is mixed? Once it's mixed, then you add the powdered sugar. You incorporate and you start to knead it. (gasps) Don't put your hand in it. You can put the flour on top and let it sit for about 10 minutes to absorb some of it. I mean the sugar. Okay, put a little bit on top, not all of it. So you got it all over your hands. Put some on top of it. Right here? Here it's not hot in the middle? To start mixing it in? Yeah, you're going to need it in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish this. I don't know if this is something. I'm good, baby. Come on over here. You want to finish this out? No. No. I'm not touching that. You guys do the work. I'm going to leave. Yeah, we'll do the work in here. She's Okay, so she left us. She bailed. 
if you want to do it with her, definitely watch it. Put something underneath it because what has happened is that container that should have been microwave safe actually was not. How much sugar? All of it? Yeah. Just you just work it. Yeah. You just keep working it. All this? Yeah. Because it's, I think so. There's the directions. The recommended method for melting was the stove. It didn't say though, or in the microwave. But the recommended method was the stove. Okay, so do the stove. Don't do the microwave because this is not microwave safe. It created a hole and I put my hand underneath it and I just burnt myself. So do the stove. Guys, for sure. So basically, no, I'll link the channel of the guy that used it, the first guy that did it. He did the stove. He just kind of steamed it and it was fine. If you are using a microwave, be careful. Even though the pan is made for microwaving, it may melt if it gets too hot. Yep, that's what happened this time. So you knead mixture just like you would bread dough, then divide it into two parts on the table. Add the contents of one of the flavor packets. Make sure it's clean. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can You can start kneading that one. I want to have more sugar. <laughs> all right, just okay. We're pretty much done. Just gotta knead it out. Hey, I'm gonna take all your corn stuff. Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Mine, corn this stuff. one's grape, this one's cherry. Oh, okay. I need to I'm about to roll it out and I then need... you can taste it. Yeah, you roll it out and then you can cut it either into strips or into like a gumball. Yeah, you can do the pizza cutter. Here, just be careful. I know. Cut it in strips. Here. Guys, remember the other video? We Here. We use a pizza cutter with. Yeah, can we go? Go ahead, cut it in strips. Here, cut this one in strips. This is cherry. I can do it. Like that. Guys, if you want to taste this gum, we're going to be selling it. We're not going to be selling it. <laughs> this Here. Taste it. How is it? Is it good? Mm hmm Very good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm hurting a little bit, but I'm I am okay. Up, it's that one finger this got the blunt of it. This is that gum that is it like juicy fruit, or is it like bazooka, or is it like bubblicious? Like or is it like chickles, like the chiclets? I think some more gum. Bazooka. It's more like bazooka. But now, how long is the flavor gonna stay? I wonder. We'll see. Yeah, that's the big thing. Be careful. Okay, so it is well, fun, obviously, at the end part when the kid can, like... Eat it. Add it's cold, the sugar's added, and she can, you know, knead the dough. Or he or she can knead the dough, and that's when she that. should get involved because this is definitely hot. And you see what happened if you put it in the microwave. Like, you know, if we all think, oh, it's okay because it says it's microwave safe, it'll be okay. I am proof you just saw what happened. Don't do it. Because it hurts. I don't need a skin graft, but it, it hurts. hurts. Yeah, like I'm, I'm hurting. Well, that's why I was like running back and forth getting that. It did, it did melt the bottom of my ring finger a little bit. Uh, uh don't touch yeah. it. And my, I prefer to go buy a pack of gum. It was a science Hi. project. Yeah. Guys, why you because she get, loves gum and I thought it would be fun. Why can't you only get a decent amount of And time? if you get it on something, it is going to stick. But they recommend using... Um, Dope. Dissolving. Try dissolving it in melted butter or a commercial solvent. Goo gone. If you get it on something, you're probably going to need to get goo gone to get it, we get it on. We're not done. But we promised if we get 5,000 likes, we will do a Minecraft video. Okay. We won't. But, uh, because I don't know how, no, we don't have the setup for that. We barely have the setup for this. How are we going to do a Minecraft video? Fine. Anyway, it was, it was fun for her. She, you know, she got to need the dough. She likes uh, the gum. You know, you can kind of, after seeing this, decide for yourself. <laughs> if you think you should do it with gum. your five-year-old or your child. Eat it. Okay. Oh, I actually really good. Not bad. It's pretty good. I got to say, it's clean. It's really rubbery, now. but. Mm -hmm. It's an actual gum. So anyway, thank you for tuning in, if you did. And for the nine people that showed up on the first video, thanks. I think five of them were family, though. But anyway, take care, and uh, have a good Bye. weekend. Peace out. Billy. If you guys want to know how to do that, here.
sometimes stuck up there. Anymore. 